sitting here so long for you to hear my song and all you want to know if I've been on the radio who's the biggest star I've seen what is my favorite scene and if I get the job would I sing on my Hello everyone, my name is Sharon Ward. I'm a singer and a songwriter and a very proud Irish traveller. Tonight I'm going to have a little concert with friends of mine to celebrate our culture and to highlight very important things that matter to us. So I'd like to introduce Steel Wall, a very great Irish singer and songwriter, and Trish Riley, singer-songwriter, both from our community. And tonight the three of us are going to perform and have some chat and we hope you enjoy. So we'll start off with singing Galway Shawl with a little help from me. At or and Moor In the county Galway One pleasant evening In the month of May I spy she was young and handsome And her beauty fairly Took my breath away She wore no jewel Nor costly diamonds No paint nor power to introduce a great artist, singer-songwriter, Steel Wall, a lovely member of our community, and we'll have a chat with Steel. How are you today, Steel? Good now. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you coming to celebrate with us, and I know you travelled up from Clare today, did you? I did, yeah. So what yeah. are you up to these days down there? Or what are you doing with yourself? <sighs> Running after kids. <laughs> <laughs> Story of our lives. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's been all quiet down there. Last year, everyone's been quiet yeah. last year and a half, but um, I've just been writing away. I've just been, you know, writing and writing and writing. And so hopefully now next year, I'll, I'll come out Did the I? gate with a new album. Like, um, Very good. I have it all written and all, just need to, to get recording it now, like, you know. Very good. So are you going to sing one of them for us today? Or? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna attempt. All right, go on. We'll <laughs> give him a blast at and see. Yeah. I might, I might get your cap off, yeah. Yeah. Because I forgot mine. Well, it seems to be plenty of tuna. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good turn deserves another. Okay. Uh, this is called The Ancestor's Call. I love this one. When the great and wise old chieftain lay down and closed his eyes, and we gathered around in a circle, the rain it fell from the skies, the rain it fell down, the rain it fell down, the rain it fell down upon our brow, the rain it fell down, the rain it fell down. The rain it fell down and cleansed our brow When we damage and pillage the mother We only reap what we sow We must learn to love one another Brothers and sisters, it's all that I know Love it is free, love it is free Love it is free for you and me. Love it is free, love it is free. Love it is free for you and me. The ancestors call, the ancestors call, the ancestors call oh, to me. The ancestors call, the ancestors call, the ancestors call oh, to me. You will be free, you will be free, you will be free to be what you see. You will be free. You will be free, you will be free, be all you can be. When the great and wise old spirit lay down and dreamt of this land, and she whispered this song to the boards in the trees, and the boards they sang it for man. Then we were free, then we were free, then we were free to be what we see. Then we were free, then we were free, then we were free to be what we'll be. The ancestors call, the ancestors call, the ancestors call oh, to me. The ancestors call, the ancestors call, the ancestors call oh, to me. The ancestors call oh, to me. They call oh, to me. The ancestors call oh, to me. They call oh, to me. The ancestors call, the ancestors call. The ancestors call oh, to me. The ancestors call oh, to me. They whisper across the brain. The ancestors call oh, to me. They whisper across the brain. The ancestors call. The ancestors call. The ancestors call. The ancestors. See you, that was absolutely brilliant. Do you think so, Trish? Oh, I a powerful song. Beautiful. Felt that song, every word was yeah. absolutely beautiful. So tell me a bit about the song. What made you? Um, that, that's my first time singing. There you go, absolutely <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Well done. Um, yeah, first, it's always kind of, you do be nervous the first mm. time singing something like, you know, in front of people. Um, well, like I said, matter. I think I was in the wrong key, but exactly. <laughs> all right. didn't matter. We didn't even notice. We all loved it. So yeah. What I, made you write that song? What would have like? My, my aunt, she does the readings and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I was down with her before Christmas because the whole COVID thing has been up and down for me, like you know. And so at some stage, like it was, it was like, okay, 
struggle. Mm. Okay, so I was just up and down. Up like, and down, yeah. And on one of the down bits, I draw down to me auntie. Like, <laughs> I could hear me, me grandmother mm. saying, you need to go and see your aunt Alice. Like. And so I drove down to Wexford. And I'm not stopping you from talking, yeah. but I do think that's the thing with us traveller people as well. We're very connected with the spirit world, the spiritual world. Yeah. So you do feel like, well, you know, I feel like I'm being told by someone. So uh, yeah, you no. went with your gut instinct yeah. and uh, trust sure, what, yourself. What my grandmother's never left me side, like. Yeah. And um, so I, I went down and I spent the night uh, with my aunt and uncle. And, and then just as I was leaving, my aunt, she doesn't read anyone in the family. She won't read yeah. anyone because they're too close. Yeah, and she doesn't know? want to give any bad or news yeah, yeah, or whatever. Any, any, yeah, any bad news or anything like that. Or good news. Yeah. Because it'd be just as much Yeah, because then if, if the good yeah, news doesn't come you true, may, you're you in trouble give, then. Give me a bit, like, but... Um, <laughs> And then just as I was leaving, you know, I was telling her, uh, you know, where I was at. And uh, she said, you know, come in and do a little bit of reading for you. And so she just, yeah, she was talking about, like, me, me, me grandmother, uh, whole mother, and saying that, you know, like, there's a lot of people surrounding you, like, and my sister and stuff as well, like, you know. And so on the drive back up from Wexford to, to Clare, oh, yeah, that, that song just came to me. And you normally I, I would... I would, uh, I play melody, you know, yeah. that's how I write. Like I, I mess around with the guitar and I find a bit of melody and then the words will start coming. Yeah. But with this one, I could hear the you melody the already. Yeah, like, very good. So the words just start coming. And then when I got home to the house, I, I sat down with the guitar and, and it just, it's one of those songs for me, I don't know about any years, like, but when I start writing something, it either goes bleh, or else it'll take months to come. I know. You know, one of those yeah. ones. But that was one of the ones that came in probably a day or something. Beautiful, beautiful um, song. Yeah. So well done on that. Um, and I hope person. everything goes great for you. For. Thanks, Dad. So the next person I'm going to introduce to you is a great friend of mine, Trish Riley. Trish is a singer, songwriter, member of our traveller community and a great person. So how are you today, Trish? I'm good. Good. And she travelled up from? Well, I actually just travelled from Drogheda last time. My brother is in Drogheda, but I'm from Athlone, so. So didn't have here. too far so to come this morning. So much, yeah. Thanks so much for being here. Not at all. So tell me a bit about your music, Trish. Have you always been? Ah, music. Since more forever. than studio, I suppose, and yourself. You know what I mean? It's 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 a forever thing, isn't it? Big you know team, what I mean? Yeah. And um, it's a companion to you. You know what I mean? Good times and bad times. And uh, yeah, so I like a, a bit of songwriting in my spare time. And Very good songwriting. Music. Mm. Yeah. Theo actually yeah. made a great point outside the door earlier and he said something to me. Do you remember? It had taken our identity away, yeah. this COVID. Yeah. And it just Lost fixed identity, up for yeah. me. And that's, yeah. Did you feel that through COVID, like that you kind of, because you couldn't get out singing and stuff, that maybe? Well, to be honest, I, I don't get out often enough anyway. Do you know what I mean? With <laughs> the you children, get out you know? more anyway. You should be. And a lot of the time, I just enjoy music. Yeah, you just for music's sing, sake yeah, at I'm home, the same, yeah. Do you know, and if something comes up and it grabs my attention, I'll do it. I don't yeah. chase, you know, Good. doing things. But um, so yeah, I, I actually found that um, I had more time to think. We were out at the rat race. That's yeah, how I felt. And you probably do you know, time to write now, write without more. saying obviously, I have the utmost compassion for artists at the mm. moment, the musicians, you know, because. For some people, it's a lifeline. Do you it know what I mean? And and even their their whole, mm. there can be like almost like families within yeah. the music industry. Do you know what I mean? And you lose your whole social of connection, course. and that that part is quite, you know. And I suppose even for people listening to the likes of of CEO and yourself and that at different gigs and things like that, you know, it's 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 not being able to attend yeah. these things, yeah. and you know. It's, takes but it the hasn't stopped you life. from singing, anyways. Oh no! Oh no! No! Shall we all sing? No matter where we are, you know, so you it's always the dishes been, and the way you'd be going. And of course, but it's always been a big part of all of our lives. And I think he'd agree with me to say that it's a big part of traveller culture. Yeah. The music, the poetry, the art, everything from a young age, storytelling. Yeah. It's all a part of the culture. Yeah, absolutely. So for us, it's kind of natural. For now, you know, for somebody who wouldn't know. They wouldn't realise it's such a big part of our no. culture. Would you agree with that? Well, I'd agree. Yeah, I that think it's, natural, it's like, just an everyday thing that yeah. you do. You know, you don't. And so I, I always felt for travellers anyway, especially in the past. It's changing now, and it's a good thing it's changing. But I always felt we didn't chase um, 
it in a business like yeah. way. Yeah, Do you know, exactly. it, it was, was it was about and... the, the the community coming together and you know, not all travellers, of course, were around firesides, but uh, some yeah, of us but were, that was you a know. Part of it, going around the fire but for but even time. now, like you yeah. know, it's it's how we socialise. Of course, we don't get into venues mm. as much as we'd like to. As we'd like to to have the the bit of uh, a bit of a session yeah. or whatever. So we rely on each other quite mm. a lot to to do That's to true. do that, you know. But um, thankfully, I think a lot of the the the, the centres are changing now in in. In, in that way and um, they're, they're, they're more inclusive yeah a lot of the, the good ones <laughs> are more inclusive of travelers now you know yeah. what i mean and um like and access we're, like access yeah yes. and, <laughs> and i know the project arts access. center there yeah. as yeah. well do you know what i mean now are, are very much inter interested in in not just with travelers but bringing in various different ethnicities mm. and expanding on the arts you know whereas before it was only the elite yeah well, yeah. obviously, I'm not going to get to show loads today, but I'm hoping yeah. that if somebody who hasn't a clue what a traveller is, that they might take away a little bit of something from this today. And we'll show lots of positivity, but we'll also talk about very important issues mm. later in the show. But for now, Trish would like to sing for us, would you, Trish? I Perform will. for us, one of, whichever one you like. I love them all. So. Well, I might actually do an original. I, I had my songs. This happens all the time. Come here, I <laughs> didn't your even sing what I yeah. Then you say. At the Tell last minute. Or you might say, I'll wear this. <laughs> that, no, I no. had three costume changes so far this morning. So. Yeah, How many did you have stay or none? Yeah. Same as he ended up <laughs> as well. We're all in the same boat. Yeah, I think I'll sing Broken Lines. I oh, love this lovely. one. Now, bearing in mind, I have to say, that some of the lines in this song, when I wrote it, um, you know... Yeah, tell us a bit about this song. Yeah. Well, it's about um, the broken line that I grew up in residential care when I was eight years of age. Uh, this was at a time where they took a lot of travellers into care, um, stemming from the 1963 report, you know, to get rid of the, the traveller problem, the itinerant problem, rather. Mm -hmm. And uh, so one of those things was to, to, to put measures in place, you know what I mean, to to bring us, absorb us into the settled community, dilute us, and that, that's what they thought <coughs> right, but that has a huge impact on a person's identity, mm -hmm. you know. Now, thankfully, I fought and fought and fought that whole system, and my family did have contact with me, thanks be to God, and, but it's just about the broken, you know, well, what's the norm to us, you know, yeah. when you're growing up in, in, in a traveller lifestyle, it's entirely different but it was in the 80s anyway it's entirely different to a settled environment you perceive life totally yeah. differently you know what i mean your social norms are totally different so when you go into an environment like that then and they say no that's wrong we don't speak left don't speak can't you know yeah. pronounce your diction um you know even time you know everything is routine yeah. and everything is just a, a, a culture shock. Completely I suppose it would be like taking a, a settled person and popping them into a traveller halting yeah. site. Yeah. They, you know, you'd be like a, how would I put it? Sure, well, they wouldn't know what to do. Pigeons. Yeah. You wouldn't, you know, have, it's, it's for, and, and, and it's shocking and trauma, mm. traumatising anyway Absolutely. when you're a child to be taken away. So this song is just about, it's, I suppose it's about the brokenness of family around that. And, and, and I know it's not just my experience. I know that this is, is Travellers in the care system, they're overrepresented, you know. But um, so, but the lyrics of the song, if I was to rewrite it, I would change some of them, but simply because I've outgrown my thinking on what I thought, you know. Um, then in terms of uh, one of the lyrics is, um, you know, whatever cards you're dealt, you know what I mean? Mm. You know, basically that you could you can't change things but i believe now you know that, that no matter what obstacles in, are in our way if we really 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 want to do you know what i mean no matter what point we come from we can achieve what we need to achieve anyway the best thing to do i think this is, is to why just, i love her just, to just <laughs> sing it this is why i, I know her. the ra rambling ranting and raving i am now she's the best anyway this is called broken line
Shattered dreams in broken minds. You can't bridge the distance between those broken lines. Those broken lines. Those broken lines. They undersize me. Don't recognize me They paralyze me The distance between those broken lines You lose your direction On a one-way track oh, But you keep on moving Because you can't get back it makes no difference that you can read the signs when you can't bridge the distance between those broken lines, those broken lines, those broken lines. They undersize me. Won't recognize me. They paralyze me. The distance between those broken lines. Changes. I'm hot and I'm cold. Don't know my value, cause I've been bought and sold. As soon as I'm in, I'm told to go out. It's those broken lines I'm talking about. Those broken lines They undersize me They won't recognize me They paralyze me The distance between those broken lines This is the bit I was talking about That I would change it's not high play If it's on the cards You're always the joker Never the queen of hearts You're always a loser You can never win Being a traveler will always be your sin those broken lines they undersize you, they won't recognize you, and they paralyze you. The distance between those broken lines, you can't bridge the distance between those broken lines. between those broken lines
Trish, that was absolutely beautiful. I literally feel emotional listening to words of, of, of your song. It's absolutely mm. beautiful. I love Jeez. it. So. Oh, yeah, I, I, no, I agree. Yeah, I think it's like, like it's it's probably like it's a very important folk modern very. era folk song. Mm. Um, because what it deals with is like what you spoke about. You know that that itinerant problem report. You know Charles Hot, you run the mug. Yeah. And that song kind of deals with the impact of that. Yeah. Today, like that, still filters down mm. through the generations. And and like, I know we were saying like that. You know, young people wouldn't uh, be able to relate to stuff that went on in the sixties, seventies, and eighties. Yeah. You know, but 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 the the intergenerational fucking thing. You know, the stuff that comes down like. The sort of shame of the yeah. being different or yeah. being othered or all Absolutely. of that stuff is is they're still impacted upon, and I'm glad that you got that out of it because they're still impacted upon, but they may not know the source of it. Yeah. And and unfortunately, an awful lot of travellers don't know that the 1963 report and the attitude of the Irish government state mm. towards travellers is the cause of a lot of the depression and the suicide and the anxieties and the shame that Steve was talking about. Mm. And the of loss course, of identity as well, the kind of shame you can exactly. see in travellers or are even, to go the yeah. other way. And even when we, we, we hold on to it, as Stephen said there, you know, we hold on to our identity and we, we're still holding on. Yeah. We're yeah. still here. So we're that's resilient, a positive thing, exactly. But we're doing it and we're trying to push against mm -hmm. the grain and that's the struggle. Mm -hmm. And that's where, and I know it's a very important issue to you, Sharon, you're going very to talk about today yeah. about internalized depression as well. We're going and to talk about problems within our community that we need yeah. to work from the that inside out. That from that yeah. originally you know, that stem from mm -hmm. what we, was done to us and now we do to each other and we must learn to be more supportive. It's more conscious and we're not, I'm just going to say this in the quickest, simplest way ever because it's very negative talk and I don't really like, like to talk about it much, but the yeah. likes of scandal, uh, gossip, um, like yeah. shame pages on Facebook, um, yeah. silly things like that. I think I don't support none of that whatsoever. I've no. seen pictures of young teenage girls that took their lives over scandal and silly old gossip from young fellas and stuff. So I might get in trouble for saying this, but if people kind of minded their own business and tried to like build each other up and not be so, I know our LGBT community struggle a lot. People with mental illness, my father struggled a lot himself because he had this great big life with a great big, you know, personality to everybody. And then when he was struggling a bit with mental illness, it was easier to just hide away because People that had a mental illness in our community, you were so mad, your man over there. I actually remember being labelled, um, not probably so much labelled as such, but I was known as, you know, the girl with the sick father, kind of, because he was, yeah. suffered with depression. Which why it would have stopped him from looking for help, because if everybody around you, if everybody around you is kind of making fun of it, of you being a bit mad or whatever, it shames you. You get ashamed, don't you, when you don't have, yeah. and it's a big thing to break down, so. Now I'm going to show everybody a little clip from a friend of mine, Mags Casey, and you can, we'll have a chip, chat about it afterwards. Hi, my name is Mags Casey, and I've been asked by Sharon Ward to say a couple of words about mental health and suicide within the Shaver community. Sharon is organising a conference to highlight the high suicide rates and the mental health issues that we face as a community. But I want to give my analysis of what, what I think is happening within our community. I have a good friend, you may call her a soulmate. She is from Indigenous People of America and is a citizen of the Red Lake. She's called Diana Standing Cloud. She told me, when you take away people's right to their own identity, you take away their soul. The proud native people to which she belongs was forcibly deprived of their own identity. They have tried for a long time to make them into something they are not. They have been excluded from opportunities, from mainstream society. They do not fit in. Their sacredly held connection to being nomadic was taken away from them. They have been segregated, victimized, marginalized, 
and have, blamed, have been blamed for what has been done to them. They have been abused verbally, physically, mentally. They have been restricted to stay in their own areas. They have been blamed again when they turn to drugs and alcohol in their despair. They have taken their own lives out of despair. Rejection and abuse they face every day of their lives. These are the indigenous people of America. After a campaign of genocide against them, they are now living through a period of deliberate cultural genocide. Like Diana standing cloud, I have stood beside too many graves into which remains of my own people being lowered. Like many travellers in Ireland, I can feel no more than a shadow of myself entering and leaving graveyard after graveyard. When the child you are bearing through suicide has not even reached your 12th birthday, you have to look for answers. And looking for answers to the sad tragedy, the reality we're living through, I now know that I will not find the answers and any one's individual failing. I always knew that the answer is not in any way connected to our culture, and I'm certain that it's not some strange form of mental illness. We're proud Irish people. We're proud Irish travellers. I now know that we are losing people through suicide for the same reason as our indigenous friends in America. Like them, We've been marginalised, excluded, forcibly separated from our way of life and our identity. Like them, we are victims of cultural genocide. But then I have to ask myself, how can everyone be so convinced that this is a mental health problem, that it can be somehow fixed through the next version of mindfulness or going for a walk in the park? Everything that has been done about this has been done to us. It has been done to try and fix us. They tried to fix the native people of America and make decent American citizens out of them. They see Irish travellers as failed settled people and are trying to fix us. They're not fixing us, they're killing us. The biggest crime we can commit is to hide this truth. The state and the media hide it very well. They see each suicide within the traveller community as being isolated and unconnected. They don't even care enough to count suicides anymore. When it was counted, it showed that we were seven times more likely than settled people to take our own lives. But that count was done more than 10 years ago. Nobody's counting now because we all know that it got worse and that, we, and that it cannot be shown. But the biggest weapon they have is hiding the truth in the way the media and the powerful can put this across at all times as a mental health problem. There was a research done in England by a lady called China Mills has shown up the way the state has maintained this lie and how the media has helped with the cover-up. And this was done in the UK. We're losing our own people through suicide because of our identity has been taken away from us. Our culture is denied. We've been demoralized. We've been, been made criminals just for being the nomadic people we are. We're reminded every day that we're third class citizens in our own country. Our humanity has been taken away. The last thing that is, take, is taken away is hope and the will to live. I want to take this opportunity to deliver a message of hope to my community. Don't be fooled by the people in power telling you they care. They speak with a forked tongue. They want you to think that the misery, the family tragedy, the addiction, the family and the community breakdowns, the lives we lost, the worrying about who's next. They want you to think that this is all your fault. It is not your fault. 
It is the fault of those who have criminalised, isolated and demoralised us. I can see a day coming when what has been done to us will not be hidden anymore, when the focus will be on fixing what has been done to us, not fixing us. We will not be fixed. Our young people will lead us into a new future and a new vision. There will be a restribution. The Magdalene women were put behind walls where no one could see them, where they could be blamed and where ordinary decent Irish society could ease its conscience. People with psychiatric illnesses were locked behind walls and institutions and blamed for their own illnesses and kept out of sight. Gay people were criminalised, shut away and blamed for their own sexual orientation. The state has apologised to the Magdalene women. People with mental illnesses are now supported, not marginalised. And that gay people can now get married, and rightly so. Yet my people are still behind walls, still criminalised, still out of sight, still blamed by the ordinary, decent Irish society. We will see a day where we will receive our apology. We need to be the voice for the people dear to us that have lost their lives. Their voice will live through us. We will not accept this. We will uncover this, this deceit and our day will come. So well now everybody, let's talk a bit about that video. Mags, thank you so much for doing that. Um, I couldn't have picked a better person to put them words together. A fantastic person. Um, what did you think, Patricia Steele? Well, as always, Mags, very articulate, Powerful very strong, woman, yeah. strong, and, and um, very strong convictions yeah. about justice in the Travra community. Absolutely, fantastically put together. And she lost fourteen members of her family yeah. to suicide. Yeah. So she's speaking from the heart. Mm. She's speaking from experience. Yeah. You know, these are not just statistics that are out there. No. And as she said herself, they don't even bother to compile them anymore. You know. Um, yeah, they're ten years old. They're, that's yeah. right, Steve. You were telling me. Yeah. Do you want to? Tell me what you were telling yeah. me outside since 10 years ago. The yeah, rates. well, no, I, th I think it's probably gone up to about 10 or around 14 percent. But so if you think of it like this, right, there's many, many, like there's probably 5 million people on the mm -hmm. island, right? I think travellers make up for probably less than 100,000. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, definitely. Right? 40, 50,000. Yeah. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, like we're killing ourselves at an alarm, right? So and it sad. leads into it, it's that it's that stuff that your song dealt about. It's that um, because all that stuff is intergenerational. Mm. That's what I'm saying. It's passed down it, in in our DNA. Like whether, yeah. you, whether yeah. you know it or not, it's like you're born into a certain block of people. You know, it's like people from. And yeah. I'm not like I'm not saying, but yeah. it's like people from certain areas will go on and be. Yeah. Doctors and lawyers and solicitors and then people in other areas will be in prison and have addiction and da da da. And it's the same with yeah. the, the travelling community. It's that thing that's passed down yeah. that we yeah. need to deal with. But, yeah. but, but also like what um, Mags was talking about is people recognise and I think they're actually at the minute uh, starting to teach uh, that's right. It was passed and into the schools. On the curriculum. Right? Yeah. And so what that that's a like that's a fuck Sorry. No, you're out, Curse. Go on, we're here having that, a chat. Curse away. That's a huge deal, right? Because what that does is it, it grabs people when they're very young and it lets them know that just like the cowboys and Indians that they like watching on telly, that there's a, there's a part of their culture because it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like beautiful. all the ways that yeah. you're singing about and that we, we try and celebrate here today are, are so beautiful. And, and the sooner that, you know, people get to recognise that, the sooner we can all just can get along with, you know? And I think as well, we need to start from within, supporting each other. 
If yeah. you see somebody's a bit down on themselves, you know, go and check on them. Or if such a one got a bit of scandal and she's been isolated because of it, don't look down on her. Or our LGBT community, don't like, you know, tr not include anybody on it. Be mindful of yourself. Start from within and we would support each other and really if we come together yeah. there's no better force than the Irish traveller people when we stick together we're all about family we're all about God we're, we care about our music our art and we're very free living we love animals nature we love years ago when our older kind of community talked about the freedom of being under horse and carts and yeah. stuff my husband does a lot now with horse and carts he brings the children off and every time I go off in the cart I always say how beautiful life must have been so simple yeah. years ago for travellers and it was just like what are they meant to do when them waves are taken away which is obvious like you know yeah so Absolutely. and i think it started from it very she well did. At her, on her video do you know and people outside of our community please be mindful of what we're actually struggling with within ourselves as well mm. because we're not just struggling with people outside you know yeah. within we're struggling for everyone to accept us yeah. so everybody just please be mindful and that and attitude of, of uh, like Mag said, about uh, trying to fix us. I mean, no, initially, I we weren't fix. broken. No, we weren't. You know, until Absolutely. they implemented yeah. certain policies that criminalized us and, and changed our whole way of life. So I suppose for young travelers, you know, to, to think about it, I suppose, and to say, look, you know, it's, it's important that we don't do to each other. Absolutely. What has been done. Yeah. And then we look at the causes and we look back and we say, you know, this is what not happened. to be blaming ourselves, yes. you know, and, and putting ourselves down and saying, you know, we do need to be fixed. And of course, a lot of people that deal with travellers are brilliant, that are n not from our community and they're well intentioned. But there is a lot of them that are informed still by that 1963 report and don't actually realise. No. So these are teachers social workers and Garda Shikana, they are still informed about that because nobody has ever publicly said no. we need to challenge that. Well, from and we today, hope we're to, going to We talk about it and we do this. want, and I know Mags herself now is very passionate about very. that report, and that we will, we will challenge mm -hmm. the 1963 report and, 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 and deal with that at, a, at, a, at the right time. But we need to stop... Um, Blaming ourselves for everything. Well, of course, we all, as you say, need to take personal responsibility yeah. for how we how treat, we treat each, other. each other. Yeah. Do you know? And um, another thing, before I forget, I want to say there's a donate button on the bottom of this for um, the traveller counselling service who provide free mental health services to all our community, ran by Thomas McCann and his team in Dublin. So if you want to donate to that, the button is on the Access Ballymun um, website. Um, so I'm just speaking out especially for men as well because of my own experience with my own father wouldn't talk out much I'm hoping that everybody will speak out about their mental illness and get the help that they need if they do need it um, yeah. and because it's, it, mental health you know uh, of course important. years ago uh, even outside of travellers you know it's, it's taboo and even mm. some people today you know travellers and non travellers you know what I mean their attitude towards it is you know it's terrible. Ooh, don't yeah. talk about that. But really, all it, we all have mental health. Well, Whether it's in good or bad absolutely. condition is the question. Yes. Well, so, I, I suffer terrible with anxiety. I'm not embarrassed to say that. I'm no. very open about it because I think uh, the more you talk about it, I literally will throw up from anxiety sometimes from panic attacks. No problem speaking out about it. I do get help. I manage with it or whatever. But I want to talk about something actually that's also very important for new mothers out there. I had a baby. Um, he'd be two in September, God bless him. And after I had that baby, even now in this day and age, I was struggling, but I think may have been maybe not postnatal depression because I snapped myself out. But thanks be to God, I have a good positive attitude. But there's other women that don't. Yeah. And the number one fear all these years later, and I remember being a child, being afraid of this, was the man coming to you. You know, mm -hmm. like if I was afraid to speak out, maybe I am. I'm this anxiety is getting out of control or whatever. But I was afraid of the label of somebody getting on to you maybe your child will be tough you because you're not able to take care of them because of your mental illness or whatever that's actually very common when that's yeah. not the case no. whatsoever the best support are there i'm working with to return to hospital and me my sister-in-law elizabeth have been with um, an exchange house and 
that's not so if you feel a little down after having your baby go and speak about it it's fine you know it's very normal we're scared yeah, for, that somebody's yeah. going to get involved and think that we're not able to mind our children and it's just the racism thing there years ago i suppose the travelers were always terrified had people come to the door to take you away that was your threat if you didn't go to school if you don't get up the man is going to come to the door and cruelty take you man, away. Yeah. cruelty man you know so even in this day and age i only had my baby and i was still paranoid about the cruelty yeah. man do you know what i mean yeah even though yeah. my children are the best nurtured, loved, taken care of children in this world, but I still had that fear because yeah. I'm a traveller woman. Yeah, and yeah. I think a lot of travellers have it, of you course. know what I mean? But irrespective, as you said, you know, for, for traveller women themselves going through postnatal depression, postnatal depression in all of society is normal. Mm, of course you know, you either is. get or you don't. Yeah. It doesn't, it, you know, but I it feel can like be a short as a traveler thing. woman, I felt like, well, it's my job. The men go outside, do all the blah, 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 and the women take care of the children and we cook and we do all that. And I was struggling a bit to keep on top of things. And yeah. you feel like you're failing. Yeah. So I think it's to be more gentle on yourself if you don't get to spot this and yeah. you don't get out your toothbrush and scrub your skirt and boards today to relax and, and to talk take to your, your time. GP as yeah. well and, and just be pain. gentle yeah. and kind to yourself and you know relax a bit on your cultural cooking dinners and scrubbing get a chipper and relax for yourself you know yeah. just kind of chill out a bit dominoes. more don't take yeah <laughs> but life is taken so seriously yeah but i'm i really want to talk the yeah. main thing was so all that negativity and all that positivity please be mindful of it all for us please mm -hmm. we'll go straight into another song i'm going to sing one Starry Night Now. This song reminds me a lot of my own people. Um, when I was on Ireland's Got Talent, I had a Christy Moore song picked for the final. And the whole week, as I talked about earlier, I feel travellers have a special connection with God. Not saying now more than anyone, but I mean, we look for guidance. And the whole week I felt in my heart that I wasn't to sing because I had sang Christy. Christy's my favourite singer. Himself, Pecker Dunn, you know, the Wolf of Tones of Dublin is all the Irish, the usual. But um, I already had sang Christy's song and I felt like I was to sing One Starry Night for me people. I didn't know what way everybody was going to take it or whatever, but I ended up going with my gut instinct and I loved it. And I felt so proud on that stage that I was after. I was spread my wings and could say, I'm a traveller and you accept me or not. And this is it. And this is how I sing. And I never wanted fame out of it and they had to insist on it, whatever. But this song reminds me of wagons and camp life, my ancestors, and loads more. So I'm going to sing it without music for you. There's one starry night. One starry night As I lay sleeping One starry night As I lay in bed Dreamed I heard wagon wheels a creaking when I awoke, my own love had fled. I'd searched the highway likewise the byway. I searched the boring, the camping places too. I will inquire with all my people. Have they tied or tied in or sight see you? For it's many's the my Lord with you I've travelled. Many's the hour, Lord, with you I've spent. Dreamed you were my Lord forever. And now I find, Lord, that you were only left. 
I'm drunk today. I'm seldom sober. A handsome rover from town to town. When I am dead and my story ended, Molly Bond's story, come and lay me down. For it's manny's the my with you I've travelled. Manny's the hour low with you I've spent. Dreamed you were my low forever. And now I find out that you were only lame. So now that I have finished crying like a banshee, singing my song, I'm going to go back over to Trish again. So tell us, Trish, what you're going to sing first next? I'm or? going to sing a song my mum used to sing called The Butcher Boy. Great, go yeah. for it. Can't I think, wait to I think hear it. I Tell me a bit about song. Where, what would? I actually don't. I, I, my only uh, affiliation with it is that my mother used to sing it. Um, so fond memories with this yeah, song. Yeah, it's a very sad song. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, it's a nice. There's a nice melody to it. You know. But um, I thought it was a, an Irish song, but yeah. it's a traditional song. But I think it's actually an English traditional song. But uh, we have our own Irish version of it anyway. So. I'll give it a blast. Go for I'm it. Going to do Can't it without wait. the guitar. Brilliant. Brilliant. Let's change. go. Okay. In Moor Street, where I did well, a butcher boy I loved right well. He courted me my life away and now with me he will not stay i wish i wish i wish in vain i wish i was a maid again but a maid again I ne'er will be Until apples grow on an ivy tree I wish my baby it was born And smiling on its daddy's knee and for me, poor girl, to be dead and gone Until the long green grass grows over me She went upstairs to go to bed And calling to her mother said, Bring me a chair until I sit down, and a pen and ink till I write it down. With every line, she dropped a tear, and with every word, Cried Willie dear, oh what a foolish girl was I to be led astray by a butcher boy. He went upstairs and the door he broke and he found her high. From a row 
He took his knife and he cut her down And in her pocket these words he found Oh, dig my grave large, wide and deep Put a marble stone at my head and feet and in the middle a turtle dove so the world will know that i die for love oh trish that was absolutely beautiful Thank lovely you. song and it's so nice that you know you remember your mother singing the song and um, been passed down through the generations. I know that's been a big part for me as well. Would it be for you, Theo? Like yeah. the songs I sing, I would have heard my grandfather and my aunts and uncles and cousins, um, which are fantastic singers, by the way, um, sing them. So would that be the same for you? Like, would you have got a lot of your songs? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's a big part of the generation. Yeah, and then, of course, you go, you might go off on your own stuff then and mm. you might take your own individual style as well. Yeah, but it all stems from... Of course. And it's one thing I love about the Traveller people is they always kept that despite all the problems and all the things we had to face. We still held on for our music and our art and our poetry and all the loveliness, the artistic mm. side of things and the yeah. freedom, the freedom that we get from expressing ourselves mm. through art as well, you yeah. know. Mm. So Steve is going to sing us a really lovely song and myself and Trish are going to help him out. It's called Sally Doran. So here we go. Sarah Doran. Sarah Doran. <laughs> but Sarah. that was her name, Sally. What's it, Sally? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. My grandmother's name was Sally, Sally, Sally Wall, when she met and yes. married my grandfather. Um, but I, <laughs> I think I was born in the wrong generation, so my, my, she was born Sarah Doran. Yeah. And her uncles would be Johnny Felix Doran, the Piper. Very good. And so, you know, the way, of, like, this, the stories of, like, even where I'm living now uh, is where Felix and Johnny travel to and, and, and uh, play it all across the fairs, across the you know, uh, Clare, yeah. County yeah, Clare. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I had this picture, like I had this picture in my head of like you know all the lads traveling around mm. the country and the, the old barrel tops and all uh, when the, when my grandmother was young, and then they all used to meet up, you know, and set up I the know. camp, light the fires, sit around, and whoever be out at the market that day bring back the stories. Yeah, and, you, that's and it was the, your entertainment. Yeah, it was your night, entertainment. That's the, the oral house. tradition. Yeah. And then, like the the tunes would kick yeah. off. So yeah. when I started writing this song, I, I had that visual in my head, like of I me mean, Annie as a young girl, like you know. Mm. In the days of old. When stories were told and those gypsy pipers play By the fire's light in the dead of the night danced the young girl in a maid Oh, her heart was true and her eyes were wise Her spirit was wild and free Here's to those days of the travelling ways And here's what she means to me her name was Sarah Doran And the traveller girl was she She was born and raised outside Wexford town In a time that ceased to be and at fourteen years, she married Big John Wall. They had fourteen kids, they loved them all. And though times were hard, living hand to mouth, life on the road, north and west, east and south. They were simple days, living in simple ways 
tinker in pots and pans and living off the land. Sarah, Doran, Traveler, Sarah. I still picture her face in a time and a place as I wake from a wonderful dream. And the smell of the old baked bread fills up my head and I long for those magical scenes. Of when I was a boy, the apple of his granny's eye and she the center of mine. All the stories you told me never did bore me I wish I could remember them now Oh, Sarah Doran Traveler Girl Sarah Doran Oh, that song was so good. Thank you so much, Theo. Such a beautiful song. Well done. It reminds me so much. I don't know if you, Trish, but yeah, I just love, I feel so honoured to be surrounded by my own people and hearing our music. And I'm so honoured to be a traveller. I'm very proud of it. And I feel nearly overwhelmed with emotions here listening to all this music. I'm so proud of you both. So that song really reminded me, like, and even you talking about coming up to it reminds me a lot of even my own life at home. My mother and father-in-law have, like, old antique trailers and wagons and horses, and, you know, four-wheelers and stuff around the place. And when I walk around the camp, I always do wonder how amazing life was. But then mm -hmm. you'd hear them telling the stories. Mm -hmm. And that song just... It was one of them that reminds me of our older generation yeah. because, you know, they were so important and they're the reason we're still here more than all our cultures today. So it's a really lovely song. It brings up lovely visual it does, images. Yeah. It does. Very set and relaxing song. So I'm glad we got to share that yeah. tonight. So thank you. Well, that's like, that's what the whole thing has been about, isn't it? Like yeah. the culture. And yeah. It's but, but air place among it, like, you know, in order to understand who you are mm. and where you're going. You exactly. need to understand where you come from. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, that was really good to touch on. Yeah, um, it's the foundation for, for everything, isn't mm, it? Even that we have to and do. even talking about 14, getting married at 14 and having yeah. how many children she have? 14. 14 children. Yeah. Like, yeah. Big, gas. Big My granny would have got married very young as well. Like, and it was so normal. Mm -hmm. You know, times change so much. So the next song I'm going to sing is called The Lakes of Cool Finn. It's called loads of different names. Trish knows it as Willie. Willie Leonard. Yeah, Willie Leonard. So you might know it as that. Um, I remember a traveller man, a cousin of my own father's, a great family friend, singing this song. Um, I remember him singing it as a little girl and I always loved it. So I'm going to sing it for you now. Okay. <coughs> it was early one morning, young Willie. And off with his comrades bedchamber to go. Sin arise, dearest comrades, let nobody know. 
It's a fine summer's morning and a bathing we'll go. Young Willie plunged in and he swam the lake round. Till he came to an island of soft marshy ground. Saying, comrades, dearest comrades, do not venture in. Birders fall sand deep waters in the lakes of cool fin. And dearly next morning, Willie's sister arose. And off to her mother's bedchamber to go. She said, I had a strange dream about Willie last night. He was all wrapped in dress in a shroud of snow white. And later that evening, Willie's mother went there. She was wringing her fingers and tearing her hair. Saying sad was the hour that Willie plunged in. For he drowned that morning in the lakes of Cool Finn. Yes, so that was one of my fa father's um, favourite songs. He would have always listened to that growing up. And I hope you all enjoyed it and yeah he music was part of what kept him you know through his hard times when he struggled with his mental illness him he would have always blasted music sometimes even pulling up the school gate pulling down the windows and Blair and Peck are done but when you're 15 and trying to be cool it's not really funny and him having a giggle <laughs> over but music seemed to make him smile through the whole lot if you know what I mean he put on this big front because that's what traveller men do. Mm -hmm. They put on a front, all men do, but specifically in our community, like if a little boy is in a fight and you have a few thumps or whatever, it's silly, like the fellow who cries really loses the fight, isn't it? Like mm -hmm. it's to don't let your thing down. So I think the only time he let his guard down was when he was with music and he could relax and whatever. Would you find that, Stephen, yourself, like with traveller men, would you find we put, they put on a, a front, like when it comes to their mental illness, or in life in general, yeah. is there a certain? Yeah, no, I, I definitely would like just, I, I, yeah. I think that music is always like a safe space, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? For me, it has been anyway, um, and a place of like refuge. But with the whole front in it, it's uh, like it's when, when we talk about all those statistics that we talked about earlier on. Yeah, like the it, suicide rates and suicide everything. Rate, it's, yeah. it's the majority of those are traveling in. Of course that can't deal with whatever's going on for within them or that haven't got the, you know, haven't it's got... confidence too. It, it's, it's a lot a of confidence about approaching people. Yeah, but I think it's ingrained in our culture and, and I'm sure it's like every culture is the same, but, but especially am, among us, like it's like, you know what I mean? We'll just get on with it. You know, yeah, big boys, harden up, harden shake up, yourself up. off. Yeah, cop on to yourself and, mm. and big boys don't cry and so I, like even for myself, I know that like I've always had like a, a bit of dark cloud, of depression, course. whatever you want to yeah. call it. I get bouts of it every now and again, right? And what I've learned to do, like obviously I do like a bit of training or whatever. Mm. Music's huge, jumping in the sea. But I also have like a, a few select friends, you know, like people. A handful. Yeah. And like I wouldn't be the most social person ever, like. Um, but you have your safe people. I have, it? I have, and that's that's what I'm trying to get across, like, because it's like that thing of like being, you know, macho and bravo and don't show any emotion. It's like that toxic masculinity type thing. So the message you're given is to be that safe person. 
in your, even in your own community yeah, well, for traveller men to be that safe person or yeah. find that safe yeah, person. Yeah, I think that's like the, the, the message that I'm trying to say is that like it's all it's okay not to be okay. Absolutely. It's okay mm. to you to know struggle. what I mean, be stuck to the couch one day and mm. not but but internalizing all that and, and thinking that you're a bad fucking man because of or it. Or you're not uh, not taking care of your wife and children yeah, because you're down in yourself that's, a that's little the bit. stuff that gets when in. Really it not, takes strength to express yeah. and to talk about yeah. things, you know. That's what's Same. really mm. admirable, you know, and to, to that, but to have that have even if it's just one one bloke, person one bloke, yeah. one it doesn't matter, like one person that you can ring and say, Look, I'm I'm not good today. You know what I mean? Instead of Carrying it and taking it all on on yourself, like oh, I I just felt like that that was important. Just to let yourself loose a little bit, relax and let your guard down, you know, and speak, yeah. you know, talk out about things if you need to. Yeah. That's and kind of the message, isn't yeah. it? Like, and big boys must cry. And of course they cry, and it's okay to cry. So if you're crying your eyes out now, it's okay to cry. Mm. The main message I want to send out through this concert today is that everybody should be included. You know, some of us fall off track and we haven't followed. The right ways you know certain ways in life and we, if we haven't followed even we can not include our own community sometimes it's all about just being mindful look after each other you know if we actually include each other more and and stick with each other more we have a better foundation to work on with our problems yeah. you know if we work from within so that's my message today is to be kind to everyone and in business about most things <laughs> <laughs> and then life will be grand if yeah. you just mind your business um, and I'm going to mention the Traver Mental Health um, donate button is on the Access website so please donate for that it's a free mental health service for all travellers and be aware that it's there for you if you need help I'm here for you today to speak up for you if you feel like you've been forgotten or whatever you haven't you are a part of our community and you deserve help if you need it so um, please contact the numbers it will be on the end of this as well and we're going to finish up with a song I wrote myself and um, when I was kind of struggling with my own mental health and there was loads of things going on at the time and I've seen a lot of girls lives been damaged and um, through you know gossip and whatever and this song solely came from that and um, so here's Rome on my own that's what it's called I hope you like it my love is there anything that I can say to make you stay I'm getting lost in my mind again my worries and fears, my tree and You left me alone to roam on my own, deceiving and all of the grieving. Time to reflect. Fix all I regret Isolated For not fitting in again You left me alone To roam on my own My mind's racing With all I'm facing People can tell it made me not well and now it's no good sure i knew that you would leave me alone to roam release this law that's been all i've known for years now i'd have met a good wife for all of my life I took horses and car And took my broken heart And I left alone to roam on my own So now I'm going to show you some little video clips from our own people, some members of our own community wishing some 
well wishes to us all. So have a look at this. First of all, I'd like to thank Sharon Ward and indeed all the artists uh, who's taken part in the concert for uh, supporting the Traveller Counselling Service um, and for highlighting the issues of mental health and suicide among the Traveller community. Uh, and just to give an idea of the extent of it, uh, 80 to 90 percent of the Traveller community is affected by suicide and mental health issues, either in their immediate family or in their extended family. And this hasn't been getting any better in the last number of years. Um, due to a number of factors, particularly the conditions that many travellers are living in, um, but also uh, due to a lack of culturally inclusive and appropriate mental health services for travellers, uh, uh, and likewise the stigma within the community, where there's a lot of shame can be attached uh, to looking for help when people need help, and uh, a shame of reaching out and talking about mental health issues. Um, if we're going to change this, we need to tackle some of these issues. Uh, so we do. We need a proper, uh, a, a culturally appropriate mental health service and counselling services for travellers so that there is services there locally when people need it. Uh, we need to address the, sh the shame and the stigma uh, because like physical health, we also need mental health. Uh, if our mental health is affected, our whole lives is, is affected. Our, our everyday lives are affected. And our relationships are affected, you know, whether this is with stress, anxiety, depression, you know, or other, other mental health difficulties. In order to do this, we need to come together as a community collectively and address some of these issues. Uh, otherwise, we're waiting on other people to do it. And we need to stand together collectively as a community uh, and look for, uh, and I suppose demand in some ways, uh, that because hu mental health is a human right. And we all are entitled to good physical and mental health. And that's what the National Travel and Mental Health Network campaign is about, is to not look at this as, a, as, a, as an individual issue. But this is a communal issue. That's a human right. And we need to kind of ensure that them human rights are, 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 are valued and looked after and cared for by the state. And in that regard, the state needs to put a proper national travel and mental health strategy in place that will address some of these issues and that will resource it properly in order to do that. The, uh, the National Travel and Mental Health Network is a collective of organisations that come together to do that and they have a Facebook, the National Travel and Mental Health Network Facebook page and I'd advise uh, anyone who's interested uh, to get in touch with, with the National Travel and Mental Health Network. The Travel Council Service is there for any, any traveller who wants to contact us from anywhere in the country. Um, our number is 086 308 1476 uh, and or, uh, uh, or other, otherwise you can go on to our website which is www.travelercouncilservice.ie and go on to our counselling page and you can go directly uh, 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 to one of our counsellors and they'll connect up with you uh, so will, and I would advise people to reach out for help uh, because suffering on our, our own is like a a, a, a silent prison uh, and I would encourage people to reach out again I want to thank Sharon and, and all the artists and I look forward to the concert, thank you very much Hi, I was asked to say a small few words on Traveller Pride and Traveller Mental Health and what I would like to say is every traveller out there should be proud of who we are because we are the original Irish people of Ireland and I'm so glad to have had the parents that I that raised me because they were very, very proud of who they are. And I hope and I wish every traveller child would have had that. But on a personal load on mental health issues, everybody has mental health issues. I don't care who you are, or where you come from. Something comes, knocks on your door and knocks you for six. But when that happens, you can numb the pain with drink with drugs, you can just wallow up, curl up and die. Or you can walk through the fire, through the pain and get out the other side of it. It's okay to feel the pain while you're getting better. You can do anything that you want to, you can get better. Bad things happen. But what helped me when I was going through a really hard time was I think about this little boy in St. John's Ward 
and this little boy was writing on a piece of paper and he wrote on the piece of paper, look for the good in the bad, not the bad in the good. So every day of my life, if something bad happens to me every single day, I look for the good in that bad. And that's what helps me. And it could be something different, something very simple for everybody else. And if you, you didn't find what that little thing is that can help you, you can talk to somebody about how you're feeling. There's always someone willing to listen. Good luck. Hi everyone, Rosemary here. I'm so honoured to be asked to participate with this amazing initiative, highlighting travel culture, our history and achievements, but also highlighting issues that impact our community. I think for me, I would like to focus on traveller mental health and our suicide crisis. Our suicide rates are truly an international scandal, but unfortunately are not deemed as such. In terms of 11% of all our deaths being by suicide, our suicide rates for traveller women six times higher and for traveller men seven times higher. And I think it's so important that as travellers, we acknowledge that those statistics and deaths are not solely down to our external oppression by the state for generations and the wider Irish society. But we too as travellers have a key role to play within that. And we play a role within that when we don't embrace and love diversity within our community. When we don't accept travellers who are gay, transgender, lesbian, bisexual, travellers who are disabled, travellers who are autistic, young unmarried mothers, any traveller who seems to be different. And I think it's so important that we try to unpick that as a, as a community and try to turn that around and truly embrace the diversity within our community while we stand together as one, resisting the oppression forced upon us by the Irish state and wider society in general. And I truly think we can do that because we are strong, resilient, proud people. But we really need to be kind to each other as well. We have to mind each other because it's so hard being a traveller, being excluded from wider society and being excluded from your own community at the same time. And that truly has a very negative impact on that traveller's mental health. So if we are really true to being equal, then we can't leave any traveller behind and we must be kind and love and accept every traveller. Thank you. Whether stable or falling, he said this was due to the impact of the vaccines and the incredible support for the students and parents of Shaw for getting vaccinated. They are doing it with 90% of the population fully vaccinated. Incredible. For the 16 plus, it's 88% fully vaccinated. Well, a lot of them took it with heart loss. Yeah, because they were part of our life. Uh, yeah, to start the evening and then keeping the few horses and that. Them they could afford to buy them, sell again. So you reckon that the cars and vans? That's when they stopped it. Because when they had a horse and car going around every evening or every morning, they'd sit down making some, something like this. Mm. The cars and vans brought them into the past life. Mm. Having times like this. Right, Tom. Right, Tom. Let's go. Your shirt, your fag oil. Fill out your pocket. Yeah, that there. Don't worry about it. Right, let's go, Jeremy. Yeah. We're doing a good job. Yeah, move on we'll a bit further. We'll make a tinker. Oh. Take the hammer out. You see we're going in? Take the hammer out on top of this. I'm nearly got his finger there. No, don't worry about the finger. At least I can say me and him made this one together. Mm-hmm. Your father used to do that, Tom, didn't he? Did he, Tom? No, he did, yeah. So you, you learned it from your father? Well, look what I him doing it every day, he didn't have much choice. I uh, know, and then would he have learned it from his then? Oh, every father on the road here is going to do it. They passed it from generation to generation. So just before we go, I'd like to say thank you so much to the Axis in Ballymun for giving us this opportunity to share all these stories. And I look forward to doing it.
again in the future with them sometime, please God. I hope everybody brought home something from this and that you learned something tonight and to be more gentle to each other. Um, I also want to mention again, Thomas McCann and his team do a great free counselling service in Dublin if anybody needs to contact him and please donate to his charity and the button on the Access website. I'd like to say thank you so much to Steve Wall, fantastic tonight, and thank you so much to Trish Riley, uh, absolutely fantastic, and I'm so honoured to be on the stage with them. And that's it. So God bless and take care and I hope to see you all again soon. Oh, my people, my people, they roam those ancient fairs, bringing stories and the music of those old and ancient pairs. But they tried to ban our culture, and they tried to stop our ways. The spirit of a people they are trying to erase Oh my people, my people Don't let them bring you down Because your rich history is written On every stone in every town Oh my people, my people Don't let them keep you down Because your rich 